GCSE required practical number six, investigating the relationship between force and the extension of spring. You require safety goggles for this particular practical. I want to show you a close up of the apparatus here because it is quite important this is set up correctly. Uh, the meter rule and the spring are supported with a clamp stand with two clamps holding up like so. But it's important to align the end of the ruler with the very end of the spring itself. So these rulers go to zero at the very end here, I'm pointing with the pen, and you can see what I've done is I've aligned that with the end here of the spring. Now to avoid errors when we're measuring the length of the spring, what we need to do is we need to mark where the spring very bottom of the spring has come and I'm using some of these small post-it notes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the very bottom of the spring there making sure that's horizontal and then I'll be able to read that measurement off of the side there. So the first measurement is to take the initial length of the spring with no load attached at all and you can see we positioned this post-it note up in the correct location to start with. So this gives us a reading of exactly 5.0 centimetres. So that's got no extension at all. So the first extension is zero. So that is my original length of the spring, 5.0 centimetres. Now I'm going to apply a load and we're going to take these 100 gram masses to be 1 newton. Um, that's good enough for this experiment, of course it's not quite right. We could find those to a better level of certainty, um, but I think that would do for today. So we're going to add that on there, allow it to stabilise and then mark the position at the very end very end of the spring. And then take a reading. So now I've got 7.8 centimetres. So the extension of the spring is 7.8, subtract off the 5, so it's 2.8 centimetres. And I simply proceed Adding on another one newton weight, finding the new length by moving this down. Just allow that to stabilise. That's good. 12.2 centimetres. Subtract off the original length, so that's the, still the 5, so that's going to give us 7.2. And we keep going. All the way down until we've got 6 newtons. And here are the final results that I've got, showing the, both the length of the spring and then calculated the extension of the spring for each of the added weights. The job now is to plot a graph showing a weight on the vertical axis and extension on the horizontal axis.